What's up there guys, this is Immersive Game 83 and thank you very much for stopping by today. Today we'll be going in on a set of Corsa with the Oculus Rift DK2 with the Ferrari F40. That is right, it is pure nostalgia. This was the uh, dream car when I was a kid growing up. I used to have an 8, 1 to 18 scale model of it. Just being in it feels superb. I mean they've done such a fantastic job with this but I'm going to try and take it round the track without crashing. I'm trying to, I want to be able to give it a little bit. I don't want to go around the like, snail's pace, but at the same time, I don't want to stack it. But I'm kind of getting used to the track. I've got a bit of the training line. So hopefully I can get a couple of hot laps out without stacking it. So let's do this. Going in. And this wheel is so good because you get to feel the weight transfer, the loss of traction. And, uh, it's just a really good experience to be honest. I really do feel like I'm actually sitting in the wheel of the Ferrari. And the sound coming through my headset just is uh, quite crazy good. And it does feel next level to be honest. I felt the slide coming out of there, I was on the brink, I was on the edge. And I've got a lot of respect to anyone who, you know, the old school racers that used to race around with these on tracks because very difficult car to drive. I really enjoy racing, racing games, and I'm, I know I'm not the best. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm okay, usually okay at racing games. But this is a very difficult car to drive. And it's on the edge all the time. It really is. Power transfers on the way out of the corners. Your gear selection, there's no ABS, so just squeezing the brakes as you're going in, trying to get as much traction as you can. And you do really feel like you are sitting in there. And it's one thing to be sitting behind a wheel when you're racing on the monitor, but with the DK2, you actually get the sense of being in the car and it's, it's next level. It really I, I can't compare it to anything. busy with work recently I know that's no excuse but I don't want to let you guys down because you know you, I want to keep you guys happy and I want to make sure that I'm delivering good content not just putting up shit videos for the sake of it so I want to make sure you guys are getting good quality and you know if there's anything that like, you you know you think I can improve upon let me know I need to know these things because like, I've had a few dislikes and that not many but I've had a couple but whoever put them down didn't tell me what I was doing wrong so like if you do this like it, that's fair enough. But I would love to know what I'm doing wrong, guys, as well. You know, and it's all those boys that liked it. Thank you so much. All of the uh, feedback has been really good so far. And I've only been doing this seriously for about a month, and uh, I've, I've had, a, you know, I think I've had about 4,000 views on all, t all my videos altogether. And just, just, you know, it makes me really want to keep getting more content out to you because I, I enjoy it and I'm glad that you enjoy it. You guys are enjoying it as well. And I just, uh, 
wish there was more hours in the day to get some content out to you guys. I'm going in hot here. transfer on that as well just on, on the edge it's like a such a close line between like getting a fast corner and just stacking it every time I go in there I'm not feeling confident that I'll be coming out the other side of it to be fair I think the science behind what happened then was a, a dodgy shift, uh, gear shift that went down too far and it basically locked up the back wheel. But yeah, all in all, it was inevitability really. Look at the state of this, eh? So, thank you very much for tuning in guys. Um, it's been a pleasure and uh, I'll definitely be getting some more content out soon. I've just got uh, four, I've done my first day shift today so um, I'll be getting four four day shifts, twelve hour shifts out of the way, and then I'll have a bit of the weekend off. So hopefully I'll get the uh, get some flight sims out there for this weekend. I'm hoping to get War Thunder. I'm hoping to get Elite Dangerous, and uh, yeah, you know, let, let's see what happens. Eh? So uh, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And as always, that's Immersive Game 83 out.